Hi, I'm Rob Harkins, Rio Ambassador, and on this episode of Rio's How To Series, we're going to talk the overhead cast. My favorite line for casting is the InTouch Rio Grand. It's a line size heavier than a normal line, and it has a short head, which makes for ease of casting with today's fast action rods. We are going to go over three parts of the casting steps, which are pick up, lay down, false casting, and shooting line. The first step in making a great overhead cast is doing three things. The first is making sure you have the right amount of line out. The second is having your line straight. And the third is having your rod tip down at the surface. The great thing about Rio lines is they do have an indicator where the lines change color. It is the right amount of line to properly load today's rods. The second thing you wanna do is get your line straight. You could use the current of the river to get it straight and start with your rod tip low. Lift up, pause, and go forward. When you lift up and lay down, when you have a straight line, low rod tip, and you do this, it's gonna make a nice, efficient loop. The, rod tr the energy transfer from the rod to the line just makes your fly go exactly where it needs to go. Again, it's line straight, proper amount of line out, the rod tip down, come back, stop, pause, go forward. The most important thing to do, or remember when you're making the cast, is the tighter your arc, the tighter the loop is going to be. When you have a nice tight arc with your rod tip, you're gonna get a nice tight loop. As you open up that arc, whether it's by breaking your wrist, not pausing long enough, or going too far forward, it is going to open up the loop as well. Now that we have the basics of the pick up and lay down, we're gonna to go to false casting. But the key to making a good false cast is to come back and instead of dropping your rod, just keep it up high and straight and just make a couple casts just like that. False casting serves many purposes, but the two most important are to dry your fly. When you're dry fly fishing, it soaks up moisture on your last cast and you're able to cast it and just the energy of the fly going back and forth is gonna pull the moisture out of it. The second thing is it allows you to measure your cast. If you have a fish in a feeding lane, actively feeding, and you wanna know where to get it, you make a couple false casts and it's just gonna direct you to get it in the right spot. You don't wanna false cast too much. Is that just, it's unnecessary casting it's going to spook the fish if somehow you make an errant cast to one side or another and it goes over the fish and they happen to see it or it ticks the water. After you have that down, the third thing we want to go over is shooting line. Shooting line is going to allow to, you to get your fly further out in the right spot for a fish where you may not be able to do due to the water being too deep, not being able to wait out, having to have a short cast that you're going to strip out more line Guess how much you're going to want if you need to cast to a fish that's 10, 15 feet away. Just strip out more line. So you're going to start with the same overhead cast, false cast a couple times. And when you stop, you can let go of the line. And if you casted properly and made a correct stop, is that line will just want to grab by itself. You let go of it, it's going to want to pull out of your hand. So come back stop, let go, and the fly is on its way. And what that's gonna do is give you a little more casting distance without having to get out of the way of obstacles. Again, in review, the three things we went over to, make a, to have an excellent overhead cast is the pick up, lay down, false casting, and then shooting the line. If you do all these things correctly, you're going to have a great day fishing on the river. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go to rioproducts.com and see the whole how-to series. Thank you.